Welcome to the Honda Power Equipment video on the HS720AS snow thrower operation. Your snow thrower has several controls. The fuel valve, the choke knob, an engine on off switch, chute turn control lever, the chute guide control lever, an electric starter box, the recoil starter grip, and the auger clutch lever. Always check the oil level before using your snow thrower. It should be at or near the top of the oil filler neck. If you need to add oil, we recommend using Honda Genuine 5W30 oil. You should also inspect the auger condition before each use. To inspect the auger, lean the snow thrower back and then slowly turn the auger. Check it for tears or conditions that could cause the snow thrower not to function properly. Now we'll take a closer look at the controls. The chute guide control changes the distance of snow discharge. To move the lever, push it left out of the detent and then move the lever forward or rearward. The chute turn control changes the direction of the snow discharge. To move the lever, pull back out of the detent and then move the lever left or right. The auger clutch lever engages the auger paddles when you are ready to clear snow. Be sure the area is clear before engaging the auger as the auger can pull the snow thrower forward. Before starting and using your snow thrower, the fuel tank should be full of fresh gasoline from a clean container. Warning, gasoline is very flammable and the fumes are explosive. You can be burned or seriously injured when refueling. Do not use fuel containing more than 10% ethanol. Always refuel your snow thrower in a well-ventilated area with the engine stopped and away from any source of flames or sparks. Remove the gas cap and fill the tank. Be careful to not overfill the fuel tank or spill any fuel. Reinstall the gas cap and tighten it. Then wipe up any spills before starting the engine. Before starting the engine, move the snow thrower at least 10 feet away from the fueling source and site. To start the engine, turn the fuel valve to the on position. Turn the key switch on and pull the choke. Then lightly pull the recoil starter grip until you feel resistance, then pull briskly. Once the engine has started, push in the choke. Caution, do not connect or disconnect a power cord with wet hands and do not use the electric starter in the rain. To electrically start the HS720AS, connect an outdoor three-prong extension cord to a 120 volt grounded outlet and then connect the other end of the extension cord to the starter box. Then turn the fuel valve to the on position, turn the key switch on and pull the choke knob. Then press the start button until the engine starts. Once the engine starts and the choke is off, unplug the extension cord from the snow thrower and from the outlet. Make sure the extension cord is disconnected before using the snow thrower. The auger clutch level engages the auger paddles. Tilting the handlebar up slightly will allow the auger paddles to contact the ground and help propel the snow thrower forward. Tilting the handlebar down will slow or stop the propel assist. To stop the auger from turning, simply release the auger clutch lever. To stop the engine, 
release the auger clutch lever, and then turn the key off. Always turn the fuel valve off any time the snow thrower is not in use. Thank you for choosing Honda Snow Throwers. Refer to the owner's manual for clarification and more details on the processes shown in this video. For additional resources, visit us at powerequipment.honda.com.